so hot. It's literally 90 degrees today. And I put a sweater on for my videos. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my book TBR for August. You all know I always have a goal to read cer a certain amount of books. And most of the time I don't get to them. Or I read half. Or I read one. So um, <laughs> this book TBR is going to be a very small um, I wish I could read like seven books in a month, but lately with work, because my work has been so crazy and I've been working so much, I just have not been able to read a lot or been in the mood to read. So um, I'm going to start off small and yeah, we'll see what we're going. Let's see what I'm going to read. So you guys, I finally got it. After waiting for like a whole month, it came back in stock and is fourth wing. I'm so excited. I'm going to read this. This is the book I'm starting off this month and it is so beautiful. I'm so excited. I'm not really, okay, so I'm not really like a fantasy reader, but Akatar is so good and I absolutely love that series. And I like Twilight. So any kind of like vampire fantasy like that, I like, but this is like going to be a first for like dragons and stuff. I do have like a bunch of fantasy books that I have not read yet. I'm so excited to read this just because it has been trending so much on Instagram and on BookTok and I'm just, I cannot wait to read this. I'm just so excited. So I will be reading this. This is the first book I read this month and I'm just, ah, over the moon. So let me read the back of it for you guys. Enter a brutal and elite world of a war college for dragon riders. 20 year old Violet Sarangal was supposed to enter the scribe quadrant living a quiet life among books and history. Now the commanding general also known as her tough as talents mother has ordered Violet to join the hundreds of candidates striving to become the elite Navarre dragon rider. But when you're smaller than everyone else and your body is brittle death is the only is only a heartbeat away because dragons don't bond with fragile humans. They in incinerate them. With fewer dragons willing to bond than cadets, most would kill Violet to better their chances of success. The rest would kill her just for being her mother's daughter, like Zayden Warson, the most powerful and ruthless wing, wing leader in the Riders Quadrant. She'll need every edge of her wits to give her just to see the next sunrise. Yet with every day that passes, the war outside grows more deadly, the kingdom's protective wards are failing, and the death toll continues to rise. Even worth, Violet begins to suspect leadership is hiding a terrible secret. From en enemies lover to lovers, everyone at Bagus War College has an agenda, because once you enter, there's only two ways out. Graduate or die. I just, I don't know what else to say besides I'm excited to read this. So yeah, she's getting red. We're gonna bring back Punk 57. I'm gonna get this red. We are reading this this month. This is the last time I'm putting this in my TBR because I'm reading it. Let me read the synopsis to you guys. I love Penelope Douglas. She's a great author, by the way. In fifth grade, my teacher set us up with pen pals from a different school. Thinking I was a girl with a name like Misha, the other teacher paired me up with her student, Ryan. My teacher believed Ryan was a boy like me agreed. It didn't take long for us to figure out the mistake, and in no time we were arguing about everything. The best takeout pizza, Android versus iPhone, whether or not Eminem is the greatest rapper ever, and that was the start. For the next seven years, it was us. Her letters are always black, on black paper with silver writing. Sometimes there's a week or three in a day, but I need them. She's the only one who keeps me on track, talks me down, and accepts everything I am. We only have three rules. No social media, no phone numbers, and no pictures. We have a good thing going. Why ruin it? Until I run across a photo of a girl online, names Ryan, high school senior, loves Galio's pizza, and worships her iPhone. What other chances? I need to meet her. I just didn't expect to hate what I find. Ryan. He hasn't written in three months. Something's wrong. Did he die? Did he get arrested? Knowing Misha, ne neither would be a stretch. Without him, I'm going crazy. I need to know Someone is listening. It's my fault. I should have gotten his number or picture or something. He could be gone forever or right under my nose. I wouldn't even know it. I don't even know how to explain this. It sounds like it's a love triangle, but we'll see. I'm probably really wrong, but we'll see what it is. So these are the two books that I will be reading in August. I pray I will be reading in August, you guys. And yeah, we're just, we're just going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.